Welcome to Everyday Decoding. This is a new video series Cloud Storage Access through API using Microsoft ASP.NET MVC 5. So in this tutorial, we will discuss how to enable Google Drive API version 3 for your application. So what is Google REST API? Google REST API is a set of application programming interface developed by Google which allow communication with Google services and their integration with other services. Example of this includes search, Gmail, Google Drive and much more. So next question in our mind, what is REST API? Here REST API stands for Representational State Transfer. This type of API rely on stateless, client-server, cacheable communication protocols and REST API commonly use HTTP protocols. So next, what is Google Drive API version 3? Google Drive API is one of the popular API. User can integrate Google Drive with their apps through APIs. There are many apps available for collaborate document creating, editing and storing their personal or official documents. So, in short, Google Drive API enable you to store and access user data in form of apps on any platform. And this is a specific generic cloud API diagram. In this diagram, this is a client application. Client application independent on any platform. Client application can communicate it with cloud database through this specific cloud storage REST API. Okay, and this REST API play important role to communicate it with clients and cloud database. So user can store their specific documents through this REST API on this specific cloud database and retrieve their documents through this cloud storage REST API. So next, which API version we are used? Right now, Google API version 3 is the latest version. The difference between Drive API 3 with Drive API 2 is remove all the duplicate functionalities and mainly changes the field name. So next question, how to enable Google Drive API version 3 for your application? If you want to enable the Google Drive API 3 for your application, you need to have a Google account and you need to register your application from Google API console. This is a specific link. Just click on this. Google API console allow you to manage your application and monitor the API uses. You have no existing project. A new project name my project will be created. So I just click on yes radio button and click on agree and continue button. And Google API can enable this specific API for my account. Right now, the project has created and Google Drive API has been enabled. So next, use the API, we will need to write the credentials. So go to the credentials and this is a specific credential dashboard. Okay. In this dashboard, you need to click on cancel button and after that, go to this option, auth consent screen. So in this case, this is a specific email address. I am enable my Google Drive API through this specific address and I need to put a specific product name. Here I am typing project. Okay. And just click on save button. Right now I am click on create credentials. Okay. After that I am select the auth client ID. Right now I am select the other radio button and I am putting a specific client name right now I am typing my name okay and and click on create button and as you can see the auth client ID created for my Google account and this is a specific client ID and here is the client secret code okay just click on ok button now Google can put my auth client ID and secret code within a specific file and this file is nothing but a JSON file and this is a specific download link. I just download this specific file, open this file, okay. As you can see, this is a specific JSON file, okay. I just rename this specific JSON file. Right now, I am going to my blog. As you can see, Google automatically saved this auth 2.0 client ID and client secret ID into a JSON file, okay. and just after downloading this JSON file, we need to put this JSON file into our project solution or virtual directory if you are using a web application. Okay. Why you need this file? Because this file contains client informations and these informations are client ID, client secret ID, project ID, auth URI and many more. 
okay and these informations are extremely useful for every time your application communicated with google drive apis so in this tutorial we will learn how to enable google drive api version 3 for your application my next tutorial i will show you how to upload a specific file into the google drive and after that view the specific file and download and delete the specific file by using google drive api to your application okay so before i finish this video i have requested to everyone please subscribe my this youtube channel and don't forget to like and share my videos that's it for today have a good day